in terms of relating the findings of the World Justice Report to the actual issues of governance, it is a talk shop. Because no party has demonstrated they're willing to look at policy and development and economic investment in an inclusive way. When you say you support the sustainable development goals and leaving no one behind, but you're leaving people behind who are, who are marginalized in your governance, your practice does not match your commitment to act. Your, your words do not match your deeds, and it's time for a change in the way Parliament, Cabinet, and the AG office operate. When you have a legal decision, when you have a legal decision around Section 53 telling you that you need to modify Section 53 since 2019, but you don't see it as a priority and you don't see how the application of that decision applies to old laws and new laws, or you're, not, you're resisting that application of that ruling, that tells me that you're not interested in upholding equal protection under the law. That tells me you are satisfied with being mediocre in your governance. And this holds true for both parties. It is my hope that with the World Justice Report, that mediocre is not the value, but, an ex but acts of solidarity and inclusion in legislation is given life in meaningful way. Here's hoping 2022 is different.